guys, it is Tanya, and welcome back to the channel, and welcome back to the third part of Let's Build Tiny Houses based on the 10 generations of the Not So Berry Challenge. Today we are tackling generation three, which is yellow. I'm gonna read the description of that here now for you in case you are unaware. But first, if you're not sure what the Not So Berry Challenge is, it is a fantastic 10 generation legacy challenge created by Always Simming and Lil Simsy, and it's based on uh, various colors and doing some experiences in The Sims that you might not have experienced. There are, some of them are not as popular and it just gets you to explore the game a little bit more. So for the purposes of this series, I started with the first generation, which was mint and made them a tiny house. And then I did the same thing with Rose. And now we are in generation three, which is the yellow. So here's the description of yellow. Growing up, you never had a close relationship with your mother and spent the majority of your time alone in your room obsessing over space. You just really love space. You'll do whatever it takes to get to six them, no matter the cost. Your traits are clumsy, ambitious, and loner. Your aspiration is nerd brain, and your career is you're an astronaut. You need to master the rocket science skill and the handiness skill. You also need to master the astronaut career and complete the nerd brain aspiration. You must build a rocket ship and visit Sixum and enter the secret lot in Oasis Springs, requiring the max handiness skill. Lastly, you're never gonna have any close friends or relationships other than your grandparent from generation one until after that grandparent dies. So I think this is a really interesting generation and this is the first one I haven't experienced because I have played a little bit of this series before or this challenge, the Not So Berry Challenge. I did generation one and I got part of the way through generation two before I stopped playing. Uh, so this is not one I have experienced at all yet. And I have so many nods to Gen 1 in this one because they're going to be best friends, uh, grandparents in this sim. So I had a lot of fun playing around with that idea and also just adding so many like science-y things because of that tie to grandma, but also being an astronaut. So it was just a really fun one to do. And of course, figuring out yellow. And just like I do with all of the other tiny houses, I had to figure out which world would make the most sense for this particular generation for the things they want to do in their life and also at what point in their life I think they are at. So I decided to build in Strangerville because we had to have a rocket ship and out of all the worlds that we have in the game, having a rocket ship in the middle of the desert made the most sense to me. There's just so much open space. So as you can see, I started with the landscaping first because I had a general idea of how far back on the lot I wanted the house to be positioned and I wanted some fences and things like that and I grabbed some items as I was working on this. And I wasn't sure what I wanted to do for yellow because I wanted to have yellow as a prominent color, but not just like overpowering. That's kind of how I'm approaching this is I wanna use the color of the generation in the builds, but I don't want it to just look like a solid color build challenge. And so I thought a good way to do that would be to use the yellow container siding and the container door that came with Eco Lifestyle. And also that was another nod to grandma because the house that I had for mint also had like container aspects to it. So I thought it'd be fun to do the same kind of thing and have part of a yellow container being part of this house. It's a little bit of a funky shape and I would say it's on the larger side when it comes to a tiny house. I'm pretty sure this is like 98 tiles or almost 100. We're <laughs> at the very end of the possibilities for that to be a tiny home. And part of that is because of like flooring I put on the second floor to get trims and things like that. But I did use quite a bit of space on the interior of this home. And it ends up being a house where you could have two bedrooms if you would like to, but I have it set up as having a bedroom in an office. I was imagining that this sim has not had any kids yet, but there's room on this lot to have kids once they are ready to do that and have the next generation, which after yellow is generation gray, which I think is gonna be a really fun one for me. I love the color gray. And I think their personality seems really interesting as well. I will get to that when we do the next generation of Grey, as long as you guys are still enjoying the series and want me to continue through all 10 generations. Uh, let me know how you're feeling about it. Uh, but anyway, out here you can see I have like an entryway with a yellow door. That one is from Laundry Day. I'm using the new window that came with the industrial loft kit over on the left side of the build and sort of mimicking that archway on the roof as well. I really liked how that came out. There's a lot of big windows in this house. And I just think it was a fun, goofy one to do. I'm adding a bunch of like random clutter outside, lots of desert plants, Joshua trees, uh, a lot of fun flowers. And I used a bunch of these fence pieces. There's bigger versions of these as well, I think that came with Eagle Lifestyle, but these are the ones that came with Strangerville. They just come in these like almost square pieces, but I liked that because I was able to make a more custom like round piece over here around the yard. I just wanted it to be a little bit closed off, but also kind of funky, <laughs> like, 
this property was slowly put together over time by the sim this sim is a um they are a loner clumsy ambitious and loner so i was imagining they don't really go out too much they probably grow their own produce build their own things this is they probably just stay on this lot that's all they do <laughs> so i wanted to incorporate a bunch of things on this lot that made sense for that so you'll see we end up having some garden plots and stuff that are from the cottage living pack and like woodworking benches and all kinds of stuff so you can kind of not have to leave. Also for building a rocket ship for safety concerns, I decided to build this fence around it. I thought that that could be fun. And also like, what is that? If you pass by this house, why is there this big fenced in area? As for the build, I just left it unbuilt uh, because you need to do that for the career anyway. For the screenshots and like flying you saw in the beginning, uh, I did build the rocket ship, but your sim in this generation needs to build one anyway. So I wanted to make sure there was a spot on the lot for that. Also using these debug pieces from Batu to put around that fence, I just thought looked so cool. You could walk through the door there. It does work, fully play tested, perfectly functional. I just thought it was a cool addition. I was having a lot of fun with like making some decisions on this build on you know this sim is really just putting things together and having a lot of fun with their space it is a little bit overgrown but i think it's also well taken care of i think this sim is probably really into having very specific moments around their property and having a lot of fun with like they're being very passionate about their space and what they do with it this is like their life's goal after grandma passed away. This is like all they do is they stay here and really curate their space to be exactly what they want in life. So in addition to having a strong interest in space, they also really like their property to be a certain way. They grow their own food and I don't know. I just, I just had a lot of fun with it. It was really cool. I, I did build this over on stream on twitch.tv slash Griffey, and I was just so excited about how this was coming out. It was really fun to uh, do this with you guys. I did the mint generation over on Twitch as well, but Rose I did off camera or off stream and then posted here. But I think I like building these on Twitch first and then bringing them here because it's really fun to see what everyone else thinks. We can all look at the rules and information about the generation and come up with ideas. And then there's plenty of people in chat that have already played the generation that can add some insight on what they think would be a good idea. So I just think it's a really fun way to do it. So I think we'll probably continue doing these on the stream first. So if you're interested in joining us and being part of that conversation and the build process, I would highly recommend you come uh, hang out on Twitch sometime. Anyway, uh, for right now, I am adding some more plants. We have a uh, barbecue. I was like, what is that called? A barbecue outside over by the table. I also added like this engine that crashed here. I don't know why, but soon we should be adding one of my favorite items that I added here. There's this statue of an astronaut and I just, I thought it was so cute because first of all, this sim wants to be an astronaut, but they were best friends with their grandmother who also went to space. And I was thinking maybe like grandma was like, got some sort of award for being this really courageous astronaut. And so they had that statue in the yard of like remembering her by but also dreaming to also go to space at some point in time and I don't know it just made me very happy uh it was one of those <laughs> items I placed down and it just sparked so much joy so I had to keep it and then we just have like some random other items around like with wires and stuff coming out of them but two came in a lot of handy for this build journey to Batu because it has like space themed things because star wars so I did use a decent amount of items from that. This is not a limited pack build by any means. Also, I'm adding down these yellow flowers now from the uh, cottage living pack. I don't know why it took me so long to grab them. I was like, I need pretty yellow flowers, but I don't like any of the yellow flowers. I don't know what to do. I forgot about them, even though I've been using them constantly lately because they're stunning. I really like the debug landscaping that came with cottage living. So it took me way too long to do that, but uh, it's fine. <laughs> We're here now. Oh, I just remembered something really silly about this build, which you will probably notice as we're getting into the floor plan now. And uh, myself and probably about a hundred others while building this live, none of us noticed it until the last minute. But there's no bathroom. <laughs> I didn't find a bathroom in this house. 
Uh, so at the very end of the build, you'll see me trying to add a bathroom in. It works out in the end. It's fine. But I just think it's really funny that none of us noticed that there was no bathroom. There was no place for one to go. I didn't make one. And yeah, no one caught it. <laughs> I, la I just like at the last second, I was like, oh, we're done. Oh, wait, there's no bathroom. I. It's so funny how I can forget such obvious things like that. Usually it's more so like, oh, I don't have a trash can or I don't have a kitty litter box or a toddler potty or a bathtub or whatever. But I forgot the whole bathroom this time, which has happened before. And I'm pretty sure a lot of you guys have forgotten bathrooms before too. I've shared things like this and it's always fun to talk about like, have you ever forgotten this very important thing in a house before? Or has this thing happened to your Sims and like sharing Sim stories? So do let me know if you've forgotten anything other than a bathroom. Have you forgotten a bathroom? Have you forgotten anything very, very important for your Sims to have? Because, um... I relate. Although and one thing I forget a lot is a mailbox because then it spawns right inside the front door and you're like, oh, the amount of times that I photoshopped a mailbox out of a weird position in a thumbnail because I forgot the mailbox and I took the screenshots and I edited them and they look so perfect. And then I noticed there was a mailbox you could see through the window. Ugh, not good. Anyway, <laughs> this is the kitchen space when you first walk in. It has like the, you can get to it right from walking in the front door, but it also has that side entrance of those container doors leading you right into the side yard. I really liked that. And this window right here, I think it looks cute, but it's going to go away because that's going to be a door to a bathroom a little bit later. I also imagine that this sim had a small dog and I had to use the egg bed because it was yellow and also it was cute. <laughs> so Probably a small dog living on this property, running around, having a good time. I think that would be really nice. And I also got this little rug in the kitchen. I wanted to get that because it has the yellow on it, but it's also primarily gray and yellow is going to give birth to the gray generation. So I thought that that could be fun. And there's some fresh sunflowers in here as well. And just a little bit more clutter as well as a microwave. And I should be adding a trash can. I hope I remember to add a trash can. We'll see. I, I, I was saying how I forgot a bathroom, but we'll see if I remembered everything else I was supposed to have or not. Uh, here's a coat by the door and I just got a mirror up there as well. I was thinking all those little sticky notes or maybe things that grandma originally left as like little like, I love you, you're doing great, like little messages for this sim and they kept them and they're on the mirror right by the entrance. I thought that was cute. And then this is the room that could be a child's bedroom at some point in time when your sim gets to that point in their life. But for right now, it's sort of like a skill building room. But they do need to, um, let's see, I know I put handiness skill, they need to master. But I feel like there was something else. There was a reason I put a chess table in there. I don't remember why. Oh, it's probably part of the nerd brain aspiration. Anyway, we have uh, a handiness ability to work on this lot because we have the woodworking table outside and then the rocket science you can work on on the rocket. Let me look up the nerd brain aspiration because I don't remember what it was, but I'm pretty sure that's why I put the chess table in there. Nerd brain aspiration. Yeah, you need the logic skill in order to work through that aspiration. So that is why I put the chess table and I only put one C at it because you don't have any friends, so you're probably going to play chess on your own, and you don't need another sim to play chess in The Sims 4 anyway, so I figured it was fine. Uh, so this room just has, like, a bunch of space posters, an alien computer. I was thinking, once again, that was grandma's, and uh, yeah, I just think it looks real cool. I, I like this hobby room and the fact that it exists, but you could move things around and turn this into a secondary bedroom later down the line. Uh, I like doing the different generations at different points in time in their generation. So like, yeah, this one is probably not quite ready to have a kid yet, but like that space already exists. Whereas some of the ones I've done, there's there's no space. Like you're gonna have to figure that out when you get to that point. But this one was really fun. And I love the yellow wallpaper in the living room here. This is a swatch of the wallpaper that came with the paranormal pack. It has these beautiful leaves on it and the swatches are just stunning. I love them so much. I'm using a fireplace from Eagle Lifestyle. And then this couch from the cottage living pack. I do end up putting that window back in a little while. I put it down and then I deleted it, but it comes back. I think it looks really nice over there, but I first tried putting some bookcases here and I just really didn't like it. I mess around with like which walls are which colors. They don't all stay yellow in the end. And then that window does come back. 
this was a room I did struggle with a little bit, but I think it, it worked out in the end. It's not my favorite part of the house. The outside is definitely my favorite. And then I really like the kitchen space, but this is a nice like cozy living room. And once again, if you needed more space, you could definitely move things around. And since it's a pretty spacious living room for the amount of furniture that's in it, if you do have a kid and turn that office into a kid's bedroom, you could probably move most of that furniture into the living room and it would be absolutely fine. But just adding some curtains to these windows here, I love the light that's coming in through them. I think it looks really pretty. And just getting a plant here on the coffee table. And that's most of what this room is going to look like, I'm pretty sure. I did paint some of the walls with that brick texture instead. And we're adding a little dresser with the television on it. And then I should be swapping out that last curtain there because I didn't realize that I had forgotten to change one of the curtains. And then maybe a vase of flowers in that fireplace. Yeah, I always forget that swatch, not that swatch, that slot is there. And I end up leaving it blank and then I'm like, oh, I could have put something cute there. <laughs> maybe next time. Uh, so I did this time. Anyway, this is going to be the primary bedroom or the only bedroom at this point in time. And I'm using the bed from the industrial loft kit because... It has a beautiful yellow swatch. Oh my goodness, beautiful yellow swatch. When we got the industrial loft kit, I was like, oh, this is going to be perfect for the yellow generation. So of course I'm using quite a bit of it in here. Well, not quite a bit, a decent amount of it in here. Uh, so I'm using this bed and then I use some of the windows. I'm trying to think if I use anything else in here or not. I don't remember off the top of my head, but I liked how this room came out. It's very bright and yellow and what you would expect for the yellow generation, I think. But I don't think I made this house too over the top yellow. I try and incorporate the color in a way where it's like very strongly present, but not like all encompassing. Let me know if you think I've achieved that with this house. <laughs> I think I did with the other ones. I think I also did with this one. It's still a little bit yellow, but... It's supposed to be. Anyway, this is the bathroom we forgot until the last minute and nobody noticed. So I wanted to put that in here. I changed the orientation it goes in a couple of different times though because I thought it would look better to be this way instead of longer out back. But then I realized the window from the kitchen was going into the bathroom. So then I end up adjusting it again because that's kind of weird. <laughs> I think I'm noticing that right now. No, I'm not, not yet. The, the window's going into the kitchen, Tanya. Are you going to, are you going to fix that? No. Oh, oh, there we go. There we go. Fixing it. And so I'm just adjusting that and it adds an interesting shape to the house, having that little roof popping up. I quite liked that, but I end up using this yellow top. I'm pretty sure I keep that. And it has flowers and stuff on it, which I thought worked out nicely for the curated spaces on this property. I just, I, I, I put too much thought into this probably. But I like doing things like that, making builds for specific sims and their relationships and their experiences. So way too much thought was put <laughs> into this, but I hope you guys like it. I also added a window into the bathroom and uh, just adding a couple more decorations in there. And then I thought this wall was too blank and that it needed some sort of painting or something over here. I think I, yeah, I grabbed one from Dream Home Decorator. And then we're just adding like fire alarms and temperature controls and the trash can that I forgot. And then we're heading on into screenshots. I hope you guys enjoyed this. If you did, make sure you give this video a big thumbs up. You can also subscribe if you have not already and click that bell to be notified when I upload a new video. Let me know what you thought. And if you want Generation Grey. Bye guys. <laughs>